Hey everybody, Retro Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install BIOS files on Botticera. So you're going to find that when you jump into Botticera that one of the first things you're going to need to do is get BIOS files for the majority of your emulators in order to jump into your games seamlessly. So this is going to be a really straightforward and easy process because I actually have a direct link to share with you guys. I'm going to put the link in the description below. So what that link is going to do is it's going to give you access to literally all the BIOS files that you're going to need for Botticera. So you're not going to have to go out and track down each emulator specific BIOS files. You're going to be able to download literally everything that you need to just drop into Botticera to get everything up and running. So I'm going to put that link again in the description below. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys exactly how to download it and how to install all of those BIOS files into Botticera so you can jump into all these different game collections. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do once we click the link in the description below is we're going to scroll down here and find the Botticera link. And you'll notice right next to it says download. So we're going to click download. And you're going to download this either to your computer or if you have a external drive like a USB flash drive, then you can download it directly to that. That's what I'm doing in this case, just because then I could take that external flash drive, remove it from my computer and insert it directly into my PC that I'm going to be running Botticera on just so it's easier to drop those BIOS files in there. Um, but you can do whatever you're comfortable with. You could flash it to a um, you know, micro SD card if you wanna go that route. There's a bunch of different options available. So this is a pretty quick um, download. It typically takes about three or four minutes, depending of course on your internet speed. All right, so once that fully downloads, you're going to go and just find that file. So I'm going to just go over here. It's going to bring me right to, you can see I'm using a Samsung USB flash drive here. So we're going to right click on it and you're going to want to have 7-zip, which is just the absolute best way to extract files in my opinion. So you can download 7-zip separately. In most cases, I think most people are probably going to have this if they've done anything with Botticera or RetroPie or any other emulation platform in the past. Again, just a really great way to extract files really easily. So um, once you download that, it'll be available here. Once you right click on anything that's a zip file. So I'm gonna go over here to extract here, click that, and it's just gonna extract everything for me. Should only take uh, just really a few seconds And now you can see that I do have that unzipped BIOS folder right here. So I have the zipped one right below it and then the unzipped one. So I'm just going to actually delete the zipped one because I'm not going to need that anymore just to clear out space. And again, this is already on that external flash drive. So all I have to do now is just eject this and then I'm going to move it over to my PC that has Botticera on it. So I'm going to jump over to that other computer now and insert my USB flash drive into that PC and we'll continue over there. All right, so I just booted up my Botticera PC here. So from one of your main pages, make sure you're not in the game collection. You're going to take your keyboard and you're going to hit F1 on it. That's going to open up your file system here. So it is best to use a keyboard and a mouse. But if you do have one of those portable keyboard mouse combos, those work really great as well. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the left hand column here and we're going to locate our device that we have our BIOS files on. So in this case, I'm using that Samsung USB flash drive. So you can see that that's populated in right here. So I'm gonna click on that and you can see I have my BIOS folder right here. So I'm gonna double click on that, open it up. And here you can see the list of all the BIOS files that we downloaded and extracted and unzipped. So what I'm going to do is just select literally everything in here. So I'm just gonna highlight it all and then I'm gonna right click and hit copy. That's all I need to do right here. So now I'm gonna go over to that left column again and I'm going to grab the share one right here and I'm gonna go into BIOS. So here you're gonna notice that they're already populated in. that's because I'm demoing this on my system that's already been set up. But you're going to, if you're starting off from scratch or maybe you have a handful of BIOS files and you just discovered this video and now you wanna add all of them in one straight shot, Typically, this is gonna be empty, or again, you know, you might have a handful of BIOS files in there. You're just gonna right click, and you're going to click paste. What that's gonna do is it's gonna drop everything from our external flash drive or micro SD card, whatever you had all of those unzipped BIOS files on. It's going to put them right into the actual Botticera 
BIOS folder here. So if you have duplicates, don't worry about it. You'll get a prompt on here that says, hey, you're going to be uh, dropping in a duplicate. Do you want to replace it or skip it? You can hit either or. It makes no difference at all if they're exactly the same. But when you're done, it's going to download for you know maybe five, six seconds or so. It's really quick. And it's going to look exactly like the screen right here because that's literally exactly what I've done exact same way that I'm demoing it here. So once that's done, and it looks exactly like it does right here. We're going to go up here to file and we are going to click close window. That brings us right back out to our main screen here. And what we'll do from here is you want to always, anytime you make any changes on Botticera or any other emulation platform, it's always a good practice to just reboot your system. That way you make sure that all of the changes that you've made go into effect. So from here, we're just going to go and reboot our system, and then you're good to go. You can start dropping in ROMs and jumping into all those amazing games that you grew up on and you're dying to get back into. So that's really going to do it for today. Hopefully, you found this helpful. If you did, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different videos based on retro gaming and emulation. And definitely check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section below. I'm always happy to help you guys out. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more videos here on the Retropie Guy YouTube channel.